The Battle of Nanjing occurred in 1937 as part of the Second Sino-Japanese War. It was a crucial conflict that led to the capture of Nanjing, the capital of the Republic of China, by Japanese forces. During the battle, the Chinese National Revolutionary Army and the Imperial Japanese Army clashed in their fight for control over Nanjing. Tragically, on December 13, 1937, after the capture of Nanjing, Japanese soldiers perpetrated horrific acts that resulted in the deaths of countless Chinese civilians and surrendered soldiers. These appalling events are widely known as the Nanjing Massacre or the Rape of Nanjing. During the Battle of Nanjing, Japanese forces launched a determined offensive towards the city, facing fierce resistance from the Chinese defenders. Street fighting erupted, with both sides engaged in intense and brutal close-quarters combat. The defending Chinese forces, led by General Tang Shengxi, displayed great bravery and resilience as they fought to repel the Japanese invaders. However, despite their valiant efforts, the Chinese defenders found themselves outnumbered and outgunned by the well-equipped and highly disciplined Japanese military. The Nanjing Massacre, characterized by mass killings, rape, looting, and burning, unfolded following the city's capture. Estimates suggest hundreds of thousands suffered, leaving lasting physical and psychological trauma. Consequences included profound impacts on Chinese national memory, international outrage, war crimes trials, strained Sino-Japanese relations, and ongoing efforts for remembrance and reconciliation. The Battle of Nanjing and the Nanjing Massacre serve as painful reminders of human cruelty and the devastating consequences of war. We must emphasize the importance of remembering these events to honor the victims and prevent the recurrence of such horrors, fostering a more compassionate and peaceful world.